In this video, we will practice writing linear equations or exponential equations to model situations based upon given information. Here we're told an investment is initially worth $9,500. Write an equation representing the value of this investment V after t years in each of the following situations. For part A, we're told the value increases by $593 per year. In part B, we're told the value decreases by 8% per year. Notice for part A, the change is given as a constant amount per year, and in part B, the change is given as a constant percent per year. When the change is given as a constant amount, when the change is given as a constant amount per year, we use a linear equation to model the situation. When the change is given as a constant percent per year, we use an exponential equation to model the situation. Where for a linear equation, we will use the form y equals mx plus b, or y equals b plus mx, where b is the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting value, which is the value of y when x is zero, and m is the slope, which is also the constant rate of change. And then for an exponential equation, we will use the form y equals a times b raised to the power of x, where if the change is given as a percent of increase per year, we use the exponential growth formula, where the base b is one plus r, where r is the percent growth, if we have a percent of decrease per year, we use the exponential decay formula, where the base b is one minus r, where r is the percent of decrease, or percent decay. So again, for part a, because the change is given as a constant amount per year, we use a linear equation. And for part b, because the change is given as a percent of decrease per year, we use an exponential equation. So for part a, Let's write the equation in the form y equals b plus mx, where b is the initial or starting value of $9,500, and m the constant rate of change because the value increases by $593 per year is positive 593. Just be careful, our equation needs to be an equation of v in terms of t. So putting the pieces together, we have v, equals b, which is 9,500, plus m times t, not m times x, which gives us plus 593 t. And now for part b, because the value decreases by 8% per year, we use the decay form of the exponential equation, which is y equals a times the quantity one minus r raised to the power of x where for the exponential equation, a is the initial value of $9,500. The value decreases by 8% per year, so r is 8%, which is a decimal, is 0 0.08, which gives us the equation v equals 9,500 times the quantity one minus 0 0.08 raised to the power of t, giving us the final equation of v equals 9,500 times 0 0.92 raised to the power of t. Let's take a look at two more examples. For part c, the value increases by 14% per year. Because the change is given as a percent per year, we use the exponential equation for exponential growth. So for part c, we will use y equals a times the quantity one plus r raised to the power of x. Again, because we have exponential growth. And for part D, the value decreases by the constant amount of $824 per year, which means we have a linear equation, and we'll use the form y equals b plus mx. So for part C, because the value increases by 14% per year, again, we already know A, the initial value is $9,500, and R is 14% which is equal to 0 0.14 as a decimal, giving us the equation V equals 9,500 times the quantity one plus 0 0.14 raised to the power of T. Simplifying, we have V equals 9,500 times 1.14 raised to the power of T. And now for part D, again, because the change is given as a constant amount per year, we have a linear equation and we'll use the form y equals b plus mx, where b is the initial value of $9,500. And 
and m, the constant rate of change, this time is going to be negative because the value decreases by $824 per year. m is negative 824, giving us v equals 9,500, and then instead of plus negative 824 times t, we normally just write minus 824t. I hope you found this helpful.